Rosie here. Thank you for checking out my channel, Red Door Reader. I am here today with my Emojiathon TBR. For those of you who don't know what Emojiathon is, where have you been? Emojiathon is a month long readathon that is going on from March 1st through March 31st. It is hosted by Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads. Brittany from Brittany's Book Nook, and Jay from The Awkward Bookworm. I'll have all of their links and the Emojiathon information in my description box if you want to get more information on it. I have 11 books right now on my TBR, most likely a 12th one once I figure out what the Book Hangover Book Club book for next month is going to be. So I will update that in my wrap up. Let's get into it. So the first book that I'm going to read is going to fit for three challenges. It's the only book that I have on my TBR that's going to fit for three. And that is to read a mystery book, to read a book that you haven't read yet and you don't know why, and to listen to an audiobook. The Diviners by Libba Bray. I know, I know, where have I been? Because everybody I know talks about The Diviners and how fantastic it is. So I have got to read it. If I do anything next month, it's gonna be finish this book. I may only have one book finished next month, but it will be this one. You are mine. The second book I have for you today is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. Now this is also a double up on challenges. This is to read a book with mental illness rep and a diverse book. I haven't read it yet, just like The Diviners. I don't know why. I swear I've been reading, I swear. Third book I have is a book that is going to also double up on challenges. It is to read a fantasy book and also to read a book with a road trip or travel in it. So I chose a Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Now, from what I understand, the main character in this can travel between different Londons, so I thought that would be really interesting to get into, and it's another one of those books that a lot of people have read, loved, love the characters, and I just, I need to do it. My fourth book is a book that I recently hauled, and it's going to be a buddy read book with Amber from Amber's Books and More. That book is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. It's a much smaller book, so I think I can really fly through it. I know that she's also going to be buddy reading some other books next month um, with, I believe with Julie over at Pages and Pens, and that book sounds like a beast of a story, so um, hopefully this one won't be as uh, beast-like. The fifth book that I have is going to double up on challenges. It is to read a nonfiction book and to read a book that I am cautious to start. Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher. I'm mostly cautious because I don't read nonfiction and this is supposed to be a memoir about her, uh, her life or maybe just about part of her life. So I'm really nervous about it. I never feel comfortable rating somebody's life. Um, so if I don't like it, this will probably still get a high rating on my Goodreads because I, I really don't think that I can just say, oh, well, your life is only worth two stars. The sixth book I have is for the challenge of read a book that's been adapted every day by David Levithan. I really am interested by the premise, I'm interested by the movie, so I have got to read this. So, The seventh book is also one that I just recently hauled and it's going to fit for my freebie box where I can read any book that I want and I want, I want to read it, I want to read it. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. The eighth book I have also doubles up on challenges and it's going to fit the challenge of read a book that basically everyone's telling you to read and to read a book that you started and have not finished. For me that book is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I, I don't know what happened to me. I read about a hundred pages into this and I stopped reading it. I even remember in a live show, one of the drunk live shows, that Julie told me you have to finish it and I meant to and I never did. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to finish this book. The ninth book here is to read a book that's older than you. My pick for that is Carrie by Stephen King. Natasha over at My Reading is Odd has been reading all of the Stephen King uh, books and this one she read recently. It reminded me of how much I enjoyed reading it back in the day. I read it when I was very, very young, probably too young, so I decided to read it. It's a collector's edition. The 10th book that I am reading is going to fit for the challenge of reading a science fiction book, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. So I definitely have had a lot of people tell me that I have to read this book and I kept putting it off because it is a pretty decent sized book but it has some neat mixed media in here. 
some pages look different so I think that I'll be able to get through this pretty quickly and my 11th book is to read a book with my favorite color on the cover my favorite colors pretty much change depending on my mood but I have definitely been sticking with loving the black and gold when I decorated in my apartment we got a lot of black and gold decorations um, just like my black and gold elephant that I love and he sits right up here on top of the bookshelf so the book for that is going to be the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I have heard everybody talking about this book, so I definitely want to read it. And I also just hauled this one, so if I can do this, then I believe it's three books for my recent haul that I'll be able to mark as read. So I'm really excited about that. So that is it. That is my TBR for the Emoji Fon, save for at least one book that I may get from the Book Hangover Book Club. I do have a backup book that I could read, and that would meet the challenge of reading a smutty book. The only challenge that I haven't found a book for is to read a book that involves sports. I wasn't sure what that could be, so if you have any suggestions for any books that have sports in them, or if any of the books that I just mentioned on my TBR have sports in them, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for all future updates from yours truly. So until next time, bye! But I wanted to try and use as many as I could. There are only... That's my cat. You're really in the middle of my TBR, honey. It's hot in here. Twelfth one is going to be joining after the book hangover live uh, drunk <laughs> every day by John John Levithan. I don't know where that came from. Hey, hi. Let's talk about books. <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk.